Welcome back to another video of Fears to Fathom. Nor Norwood Hitchhike. Let us do this. By the way, guys, if you do enjoy this series, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Anyway, let's play. Fears to Fathom Episode 2. Norwood Hitchhike. June 16. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember the very uh, this very clearly because of how creepy out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out uh, for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends, though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going to the inter uh, interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was, uh, was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home, but when I set off I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take a long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 hour drive. That's a long drive, my buddy. Oh, I'm steering. Whoa, we're still driving. I can't open up this, then... People care about my safety. You gotta do what you gotta do. We shouldn't open up that while we drive, right? Dad messaged us. Not now, Dad. I'm driving. Goodness. People these days. You know I'm on the road. Oh, we need gas. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. What gave you that idea? Driving my way down town, driving fast, faces best, and I'm homebound. Dude, the leaves is falling into the car. Dad, you can just chill, okay? Grab a chill pill. The sun is driving here. Dude, chill. Oh, this is a gas station, dude. This thing doesn't turn. Want to buy a steering wheel. Nailed it. I must be a female, dude, because, like, I can't turn the car, so... So, guys, not gonna lie, I did play this, but, uh... The game was glitched, so I just restarted again. Hello, Sia. Ma'am? Hi, can I get $10 of gas at pump two, please? Uh, you heading to the bridge by yourself? Yes, why? Uh, not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. Uh, you got it. I'm not joking, ma'am. Be careful. It's not safe out here. Uh, for about a 
a century now, many people been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say that the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on the trees. Well, thanks for the gas. Uh, one more thing. If you see a woman in white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Okay? Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstance pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Holly? Wait, I am a ma'am. Mom sent three text messages. Um, I don't know if you'll find a, a any shop at this hour, but we're looking. We're out of dog food. Could you get some something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Five dollar. Mom, you owe me seven. Seven dollar halas. So let's go. Told you I'm a female because I can't turn the steering wheel. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? If you have the option, guys, always drive, dude. Always drive. You know what I'm saying? Always drive. Every single one of them just look like you and me. Mom sent us... Dude, can you guys go to sleep? Who needs lights anyway? It's overrated. Thank you. Driving my way downtown, driving face. Face is base and I'm homebound. It's a car in front of us, dude. Give him a little boost. Meow. I took that corner so fast, the cops pulled me over and said, Hey, put that corner back. While I was driving on the road, a brick, a brick <laughs> flown through the uh, wind, uh, windshield and hit my girlfriend on the chest. And I broke three of my fingers. I got the flat tire. So, she pumped and I pumped and she pumped and I pumped. And then we got out of the car and fixed the tire. As I give her a final goodnight kiss on her lips, her, fa her father opened the door and stepped on my back. <laughs> <laughs> I 
my phone rang. That was the weirdest thing, because I didn't have a phone. I answered the phone anyway, and I saw a girl walk past the window. I knew she was tall because I was on the second floor. <laughs> Who is doing this to my lights, bro? Someone is chilling there. No, Bunny. Easy dodge, dude. I don't stop for no one. The road is mine now. I, I claim it. There was something weird about that night. Well, that just happened. And this is where the game glitched for me. I put stuff in the car and the car is like, nah, dude, you haven't put everything. And I'm like, dude, I put everything. And the game is like, nah, you didn't put everything. And I'm like, bro, I, I promise you I did put everything. So I played pretty much until here. It's weird because before I could carry two stuff at a time. What's your name, huh? So, I got a feeling that we shouldn't have done that yet. I think we have to get into the car one more time. Maybe that's why we could only carry one thing at a time. We had to try and start the car again. It's 
whether we can't put the hat on. We run faster sideways like this. Nyao. You can't start the car because your stuff is outside. Even though it sounds like the car's already started, but... You know, who wants to get technical? Now I should maybe unpack. I feel like that's a bit far forward. Ten twenty three PM. Bye, have a great time. Ten forty three PM. It can't be. But it is. Perfect, dude. Hi, you're the girl from the gas station. Hi. Uh, what are you trying to uh, to do out there? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. Uh, there's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Uh, where are you heading to? To the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thank you so much. Could you wait until I get my stuff? Hurry. Uh, just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay, we're having the same glitch again.
where there's nothing in the car, nothing in the boot. Everything is in his car. Is there a specific order you have to do it in? So I can't touch the hat anymore. Oh. Can't pick this up. Dude, I don't feel like doing this over and over and over again. I honestly don't. I honestly just don't. Oh my goodness, we had a skateboard. There, I'm done, bro. Hurry up, I need to get moving now. Finally. Now, hop in quick. Let's go, baby. Take me to your room, you know what I'm saying? I am a girl. You like what you see. <laughs> Uh, so you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. I'd rather not say, if that's okay. I live really close from here. I was driving home, and that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason? What? My name is Jason. I'm Holly. Holly doesn't know. You're really lucky I had to do this side of the town tonight. How... Uh, okay, wait. I, I must say, you're one of the brave young women. How's that? Uh, you got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was the battery. Are you sure? That's my dad's. It's pretty old. Just like you. <laughs> Wait a minute. You didn't hear me. So, what do you think about uh, what he told you back at the gas station? I didn't listen a single word. He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells uh, that to every person uh, traveling down here. Okay. But is it true, though? You're not telling me. So, is it true? 
Uh, what the monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are. There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound uh, like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't bother... Uh, you don't be bothered. It's a good way to put it. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Okay. A semi cutscene, I guess. Eight minutes past midnight. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me uh, by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Gal, need a room for the shack up for the night? How much is it for a room? $40 for single. Pay cash only. Okay. Apparently I got some money. Room number nine, right over the aisle. Uh, talk about my car. Pay $90, Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. I have no option. Good. I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. So, room key nine. Too low on cash for that. I think it's on this side somewhere. Hey. Dad. Mom. Andy. Bro, where you at? Your dad's calling me. It's not expired or anything, right? Dad, I might have to stay at the motel. So here's room nine. Nice and warm inside. Where's my bed, bro? Uh, what are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. I should be asking you. I'm Tommy, room service, here for the roadway in. Uh, the finest stopover in Norwood. What are you doing in, in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. So Tommy is the cleaning lady. He's the repair lady. He's the, most probably his tow car. Tommy is everything. And more. You weren't feeling it? You feeling it now? So let's do a nice little glitchy. Watch this. Tap that consume. As fast as you can, so that we can... Zoom! Jeez, son. Take that. Nyo. Nyo. Take this. Nyo. Nyo. Gotta go fast, baby. 
You like what you see, huh? Teeth this. Tommy is still in the room, looking at me. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy. 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 But don't worry. Don't you worry. It's uh, a safe year. Uh, I go uh, get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed. But uh, we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have a good night. My bitch. What are you doing? Call it uh, foresight, but something was very off about that place. Why is my toilet being used? Turn off the light. Bro, if you think something is happening outside your window, turn off your lights, bro. Uh, coffee would help me stand up. One of those people, huh? My dad is exactly the same. He can't sleep without his coffee. What the? Wait, I'm walking the wrong way, bro. I don't even know where I am. What do you want, Dad? I can't read. Yeah, if Coffee was doing this to me, I would also sleep. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Twenty minutes past three. I was sedated. I thought my phone don't work. Is that a cat phoning me? So someone's in my closet, by the way. Who is it? Joe from the front desk. Open the door.
Why do I need to open a door, bro? Go away. I paid you. I didn't, uh, I didn't, I specifically tell you to not wake anyone up. I have complaints. What are you making all those noise, goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Uh, it, uh, is that why your eyes are so all red? Mention the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? Uh, we don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, here. I've had enough. You crazy goons here. For once, I thought we we had a sober guest. But I guess I'm just a crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Come here, bro. Son of a bitch. Come here, Joe. Go back to the room. I swear to God it was right here. I say go back now. Dude, don't kiss me. Nice fat lips you got there. There should be some uh, medication in your room that should offer some uh, for some relief. Uh, check the table. Uh, by the telly. Would I have a telly? Requires water. Bottle of water? Don't know why that I do that every time, dude. Hey, the killer packed my stuff neatly. Thank you. Okay, so now we can finally read our messages here. We again have no service for some reason. I told you to take the flight. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. I hope you're feeling right. It's not expired or anything. Surprisingly, there was a dog food at the gas station. Don't need to pay for me. I don't know, mom. Someone just take a picture? Am I that sexy? Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna be star. Is that? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? 
I need your help. Please open the door. I know you're in there. Okay, I need to be quiet because the mic will pick it up. Test. Yeah, okay, well... It doesn't pick up my microphone. I think it's trying to pick up my headphones microphone. Who is it? Who is it? Who is said Good news. I'll sleep in the closet for the night, dude. No. Maybe I go need to go answer again. Please leave. I just want to talk to you. I swear I'm not a, a cop. Please go away or I'm gonna call the cops. Pretty lady. Oh my goodness. game over me to this day i find it really weird that the manager interfered not uh, to get the police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation i believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring uh, or possibly something even worse tommy arrived uh, with the car after uh, what felt like a year. I never went to the long tr uh, road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Well, there you go. There's episode two, dude. I had to play it twice because, you know, items putting it in the back of the car. That's apparently not my forte, bro. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's game. We'll obviously continue on because there's more episodes to cover. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.